हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट बैंगलोर इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी बी आई टी बैंगलोर एंड लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैव आज फॉर द एकेडमिक कैलेंडर एज वेल एज द डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस इज अपडेट बेस्ड ऑन दैट सो आई विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड सो इट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर ऑल द के यू नो जी जी सी ई टी कॉमेड के एंड द मैनेजमेंट कोटा स्टूडेंट्स राइट एंड यू कैन सी दैट डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर लिस्टेड एंड इन द डिजिटल फॉर्मेट ऑल्सो इट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो द लास्ट कॉलम इज हाउ मच इज द साइज ऑफ द डेट जे पी जी विच यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड सो इफ यू सी द फर्स्ट डॉक्यूमेंट इज एडमिशन ऑर्डर फ्रॉम के ई और कॉमेड के विच एवर यू आर टेक इन एडमिशन एंड जे पी जी शुड बी लेस देन टू एम बी फॉर ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट सो यू शुड प्रिपेयर अ सॉफ्ट कॉपी ऑफ लेस देन टू एम बी देन इट रिक्वायर सेकेंड डॉक्यूमेंट इज ट्वेल्थ और द सेकेंड पी यू सी मार्क्स कार्ड देन थर्ड वन इज द टेंथ और द एस एस सी मार्क्स कार्ड फोर्थ डॉक्यूमेंट इज स्टडी सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूशन लास्ट अटेंडेड राइट and then the transfer certificate from the institution last attended so your your college will give you study certificate and the transfer certificate migration certificate applicable applicable to all the students who are coming only from other states for karnataka student it will be transfer certificate for other state students it will be migration certificate so it is required by both comed ke and the management quota students the migration certificate the caste certificate is only applicable for cet students who are taking the benefit of the caste quota and similarly there will be also income certificate which is again required only by cet quota who are taking the benefit of ews or any other caste category based on the income level so last two documents are only applicable for the cet students so which is mentioned and all of these documents also needs to provided in the jpg format as i show next talking about the other document so all the students who are claiming the hkr quota which is hyderabad karnataka region or the kalyan karnataka quota 371 j a and b that is to be provided by respective students they are going through cet or comed k then document required for any other reservation like sports quota and all other different co ex army army you know other quotas are there so every student who is claiming that quota they should provide their document and then if you are claiming any scholarship then ssp id has to be created for claiming the scholarship from karnataka government then they require aadhar card of the student and pan of the parent both father or mother if it is available or if it's only father then only father's pan card is also sufficient whichever is the working member pan card has to be there recent passport size photograph that should be in the formal dress of the students right and then signature of the student so those are the documents which are mentioned and also needs to be provided in the jpg format and rename the document example right so there's given the you should name as document name under student name so you should be like pan card under your father name underscore father name signature underscore your name so you have to rename those documents and being in this format and they will it will be needed to be scanned and document sent on email like the email id is scan at the rate bit bangalore bi to bangalore dash dot edu dot in right so that is the detail now talking about the student induction program so this is the update again from their main website bitbangalore.edu.in so if you go there on the top it is an autonomous college but it's showing the dates mentioned there as the first semester start date you can see in the red so if you click there it will take you to the documents which uh, is the basically academic year so though they are the autonomous college from this year but they are still going to follow the vtu dates that's why they have given the vtu link on their main website so vtu uh, dates were provided on the 4 september if you remember for all the colleges which are affiliated to vtu but autonomous colleges were giving different dates but this college bit bangalore is not giving different dates it will follow the vtu dates only so since it follows the vtu calendar the commencement of the semester will start on 17th of september student induction program is going to for 11 days between 17 september to 27 september and the regular classes will start only on 28th of september 
and similarly the last working day of the semester for all the courses from vtu will be like 27th of january 27/1/2025 right so that is the last working day in terms of all the study and the academic uh, you know pursuits and after the study is over there will be practical viva examination so date for practical viva examination is 28 january to 6th of february 2025 and after that there will be theory exams between 7th of february to 5th of march and after that there will be only 5 days of gap which will be provided as a semester break and after that 5 days break the next semester will start on 10th of march 2025 so you can understand the tight schedule and all the full semester will be over only in the 4 months time frame which is october november december january and february is typically for the exam so put together 5 months all the exams and the semester will be over so that's all update for bit bangalore and thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on the remaining colleges which are there in karnataka Take care and bye.